A great outfit can make you feel empowered and confident. And for women who dress modestly, they really are struggling to find those great outfits. Today, we brought a group of women together to talk about how modest fashion affects their lives. We saw that despite their different backgrounds and faiths, they were united in their struggle to look for and find beautiful, modest fashion. When I was younger, before I got baptized, I, I viewed modesty as for older women, not younger women. I was just like, you know, that's for grandmas and <laughs> in the church with the hats and stuff like that. You know, I dressed a certain way, especially since I, you know, I used to model, so, you know, I didn't really care about modesty. But um, after I got baptized, and um, that's when I really start, started to care about it. And, um, you know, my spirituality influenced me to become more modest. Well, you should look nice, right? And so it doesn't mean like you can't look nice. And, and I'm very picky if I'm shopping. I can spend three, four hours, you know, just shopping and I won't find a single thing. Oh, yeah. You go three, four hours, I'll go Roosevelt Mall all day and find nothing. <laughs> nothing. And then I'll go to like 34th Street, same thing. You know? It's so hard. When I go shopping, I try not to like make it difficult for me. I try to like have a positive mind and I'm determined. Like I take the whole day off. <laughs> and like when I'm in the store, like I'll look at a top that I like, even if it's a short top, and I'll just scan it with my in my head and like think of, think of my closet and just see like how can I like dress it up. So much of today, I even seeing so much of that if it is long sleeves, then it's missing a back. Um, yep. If it's one sleeve, if there's a sleeve, and very likely missing the other sleeve. Mm -hmm. um, if it's a good neck in the back, it's likely not a good neck in the front. Exactly. Like this jumpsuit that I'm wearing, I wouldn't have to wear something to cover the middle and have something that has sleeves to put on top. Like this yeah. jumpsuit would come with sleeves and covered and everything, and I'm just mm -hmm. gonna put it on and run around like a little kid. To be wearing a cardigan on top of something sleeveless, or to you have 20 minutes to shop. Why do I have to go? find something to go underneath or on top of something? Why sure, does it have yeah. to be so difficult mm -hmm. to find something that is quality and covers decently? You'll have the piece, but you won't have the material. Like, I'm, it's frustrating when I find a blouse. I'm like, this is awesome. I love this sleeves, yeah. everything. I put it up to the light, see right through it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And my thing That's is, the worst. Exactly. Yeah. I walked into Saks Fifth Avenue for the first time ever the other day, and like, obviously not to buy anything, but just to like see what it was about, right? So I like go up to the third floor, and it's like all these designers and all these beautiful clothes, and you like look at a price tag, and you're like, oh, that's eight thousand dollars. I'll never have that, you know. But if I had all the money in the world, that's where I would go. But it was interesting. I was with my little sister, and we were just picking out different things that we liked, and. Um, a lot of the things, like we were able to find clothes that we could wear there, things that like that that covered our shoulders and that were long enough, which is a big deal for me because I'm tall, and so to have some like a dress yeah. that goes down to my knee is hard. But it was so interesting that like these top line designers had clothes that were modest. Like even if I'll find a piece that's you know sleeves and everything, the way it's cut, it's completely form fitting. Mm -hmm. Like I have no space to breathe, and for me, I, I just I want a little wiggle room, you know. Yeah. I <laughs> You went to Saks Fifth, you go to the third floor and you see these timeless pieces that, you know, everyone would just be happy in. You know, mm -hmm. they cover you up. These are things that have not changed, yet these aren't accessible to everyone. But you know, somebody who has a great influence, they have to change the, the face of modesty. Right. You know, the whole view of modesty. And that's it. It's about fitting in because and also you show that you, yeah, that you eat. can be sexy and, and look good yeah, exactly. and be modest at the same time. And you can have it at ease as well. You know, like, modesty doesn't have to be that difficult. The fashion companies, they're trying to like have an easy way out because they always know that sex is going to sell. I think it's a matter of education, really. Exactly. How do we educate people so they understand what modesty is? That modesty isn't that, hey, you must wear a turtleneck at all times. I go to try on a dress or something, and I it's like a little bit short, and so I look to see if there's any room, and there's not, and it's just like, well, can't get it out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So my mom and sister were in town last week and went to Madewell. My mom had been looking at this dress for all summer long, and she's trying it on repeatedly. Like, she's trying it on three times because she wants it so bad. Every time she tries it on, she's just like, it's just, 
too short. It's just too short. But in her head, she can't get rid of it. Like, mm. she just wants it and she won't, she won't ever buy it because it's too short. But yeah, you look and still no seam, can't get it. Yes, I want to look nice and all that, but I want to feel comfortable. Exactly. And I want to feel, I guess, a certain strength, a certain, I guess you would say, confidence. <laughs> when I go out, you know, I want to go out and be like, hey guys, like it's me, I'm yeah. here. Even in my community, um, who's dress is something modestly, but very fashion forward. Mm -hmm. I think that that's, that's, cause that's the hardest part. Yeah. Being you know, dressed modestly, but also very much fashion forward. It's so encouraging to be able to come um, here and talk to other women of faith who have the same values that I do. It's kind of hard to find something that's fashion forward and you know some something that you feel comfortable in but still is modest at the same time. I wish it was more of a general topic, just how you know sex sells is a general topic. I wish modesty was more of an umbrella that touched a lot more people. When I'm like on social media and YouTube and I watch like girls who dress modest, it it encourages me. Cause like if you don't have people that look like you, you're not gonna really like stay strong with it. You're probably gonna go back to like the mainstream like instead of going with your faith. There really are a lot of people from different faiths, different cultures, even like in the everyday community that are really looking for a happy medium between fashion and modesty.